there's nothing worse than being unequipped. Now, that isn't to say that you'll ever be in a situation where you have no choice but to forge your own knife. But who knows? It could happen. And if it does you'll be thankful that you read this. To forge your own knife, you'll need to heat up some steel, hammer it into the right shape, and harden and temper it to make it stronger. So, we are going to watch about the how to forge a knife. Method 1. Forging the point. First is heat the metal in a forge or your own personal metal working furnace. Proper temperature varies, but a charcoal fire with introduced air is sufficient. A piece of O1 steel will work great for this. Always wear eye protection and work gloves when you're working with hot metal. Step 2 Check the color when the metal is heated. The steel should be 2100 to 2200 degrees Fahrenheit, 1150 to 1200 degrees Celsius, which is a straw or yellow color. Use forging tongs whenever you remove the metal from the flames since it will be very hot. Finally, forge the blade to a point. Use a rounding hammer to beat one of the corners on the end of the hot steel into the shape of a knife point. The flat side will eventually become the cutting edge of the blade and the curved side will become the spine. Method 2. Flattening the blade. First is leave room for a tang. The tang is the part of the knife that goes in the handle. Leave about 2 inches, 5. 1 centimeter or more on the end of the steel opposite the point for the tang. Step 2. Establish a blade. Most knives have a distal taper, which means the blade gets thinner the closer you get to the point. Heat up the metal again. Then, repeat rows of small taps with your hammer up the blade to narrow the steel. Step 3. Hammer out the flat edge to make the bevels. The bevels are the slight inclines on each side of the blade that run to the cutting edge. Hammer the flat edge on one side. Then flip the blade over and hammer the flat edge on the other side. Continue doing this as you work so both sides are even. Finally, try to keep the blade from mushrooming or bending over itself. If you notice the metal folding over itself when you hammer along the cutting edge or spine, lay the blade flat on the anvil and hammer the edges back down. Mushrooming and bending will cause inclusions weakening the blade. Method 3. Strengthening and sharpening the knife. First is anneal the knife by heating it to a red-hot temperature three times. Let it air cool in between heatings until all of the red is gone. Let it cool in the fire overnight. Cooling it very slowly will make it softer and easier to file. Step 2. Sand the blade to shape and even up any uneven spots. Run the edges and sides of the blade back and forth over some sandpaper to smooth them out. Step 3. Reheat the steel and deep it in motor oil to harden the blade. Only deep the metal vertically. Any angle more than a few degrees off will create bubbles around the metal, causing warping that you'll have to reforge. Leave the steel in the oil for 30 to 60 seconds. Step 4. Put the knife in an oven for an hour or two at 250 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 121 to 177 degrees Celsius, to temper it. Dipping the blade in motor oil makes it harder but also more brittle. It's important to temper the blade afterward. Tempering will make the blade tougher and less brittle. Step 5. Put a handle on the knife. You can either drill holes and pin scales of wood to the tang or wrap the tang with cord or wire. You can also make the tang pointy, put it in a block of wood, 
and file the wood to shape. Finally, sharpen your knife with a fine file, then with a wet stone. Use a leather strop impregnated with polishing paste to remove any burrs and leave a razor sharp edge. Hold the cutting edge of the knife against the whetstone at a 22 degree angle. We hope it is useful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to upskill yourself.